All right, uh, Secretary Liamas, medyo na warm up po tayo dun sa rematch niyo ni Robin Hood Padilla. Now, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Pag-usapan na... Wala naman akong laban. No contest, no? Oh, Wala naman laban, no? Man. Baka pwede pa sa kantahan. Pwede ako lumaban. Tsaka, <laughs> no? <laughs> ano? Hindi mag... <laughs> next time ko... Kasi, kasi, kagabi kasi, nandun siya sa kwa, no? 50th uh, showbiz anniversary ni Bong Rebilla. No? Alright. Meron din nag-imbita sa akin doon. Buti na lang hindi ako dumating. Nandun si Robin Hood Padilla, kumanta. Yung kinanta niya nung nakarang pumping. Mabayit na si Bossing Rob. Pag in person, mabayit na. Siyempre, kailangan na. No? Pakita nga na yan. Pero, yeah, good guy yan. Good guy. I'm very confident. He's a, he's a, guy. He's a nice guy. E, tayo rin naman. Good guy din naman tayo ah. Hindi eh. <laughs> pag, pag ayoko sa'yo, ayoko talaga sa'yo. Ganun ako eh. Hindi ako plastic. Pag ayoko sa'yo, aasa rin lang kita. Dapat uwi na ako. So, let's go to this. Uh, Robin. Uh, Robin. <laughs> Ronald. Sorry, ito na. Si Franz. Sorry, Francis. Ako ha. Ne, ito ito. Uh, Ronald. Sir Ronald Liamas. Ito, 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 ito. So, meron tayong update ngayon na medyo mas exciting pa pala itong mga confidential fund na yan. No? So, In 11 days daw, na, 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 gumastos daw ng halampas sa 120 million. So, we're talking about... Almost, 125. Huh? 125, right? So, we're talking about 2.5 million dollars almost being spent in in less than two weeks. Medyo pang ano yan, ah? Pang ano yan, ah? Emirati, ano ah? Medyo ano, <laughs> Saudi style na royalty, ah? Medyo. So, ang... ang, ang So yung mga iba nag-analyze na kunya kung meron kang informants, meron kang mga intelligence people, kinalculate nila yung daily expenses mo para magastosan mo yung 100 to kasi intelligence dapat siya, 'di ba? So kung ma-informant ka, makano ga? So para ang daily houses, at ang ganda ng daily vehicles, no? Yes, and uh, informants, no? yun yung main sources ng confidential fund. <laughs> So, so Ronald, the reason I'm asking is because not only were you a secretary for political affairs, so essentially Chief Marites secretary ni Pinoy, <laughs> but you're you come from a family. Pinagsapan natin, oh, oh, people who work in the security agencies and intelligence world. So I'm sure you know a, a thing or two about this. At not to mention, at one point kalaban mo it sila, di ba? Bilang sang activist and progressive, can you explain to us in what universe? You can spend 125 million in just over a week na pang intelligence gathering confidential fund mga ganun. Can we operationalize it? Just just para lang meron tayong para lang ma-imagine natin paano magastos ng 2.5 million dollars. Okay. Alam, alam mo alam mo Richard, no? Uh possible yan eh. Possible ng gamitin yan. Kung uh, kung yung yung operasyon, yung stilo mission impossible. No? Kung uh, ganyang klase ng mission yeah. possible, no? Yung uh, 'di ba? Oh, talagang uh, 'di ba? Gagamit ka ng mga kwan diyan eh, ng mga armas, gagamit ka ng mga sophisticated weaponry, sophisticated. Baka 'yon kaya, no? Kaya 'yon, no? Uh, pero ikaw ay vice president, which is basically who is basically just a spare tire. Ikaw ay uh, uh, secretary of education na parang napakalayo sa iyong mandate. 'Yun yung pinagtataka. Tapos, the plot thickens. Dahil naging controversial yan, dahil dun sa uh, pamamaraan ng pagkuha ng 125 million last December. ba? Diba? Dahil ang merong ruling ng Supreme Court, dahil dun sa DAP dati, yung uh, naging uh, controversy ng panahon ni Pinoy, bawal na yan. Na bawal na yan gawin. Na ikaw ay magta-transfer sa ibang uh, department, no? na wala namang uh, appropriation sa department yeah, na yun. Exactly. So very clear yan. No? Kasama ang ponente pa nga yan, alam ko si si Justice Bersamin. Eh. Yes, Kaya very, yes. very knowledgeable si Executive Secretary Bersamin nung ginawa niya yan. No? Ngayon, ang paliwanag ni Congresswoman Stella Kimbo, hindi! Meron namang item. No? Meron namang line item, wala lang ang laman. Which inulit no? ni Erwin Tulfo kanina, ni Congressman Tulfo kanina, kasi may back and forth sila with Sir Edsel Lagman. I suggest people to check mm. it on YouTube. It's quite interesting. May, medyo mm. may... Para, and Lagman openly said, wala, hindi ako sinasagot. Eh. Hindi nga <laughs> pwede kung zero, tapos bigla mag-transfer ka. Mag- oh, oh. Very clear sa salita, kung wala appropriations, Tulfo. hindi mag- pwedeng mag-transfer ng appropriation. So binago, hindi ito galing sa Office of the President, 
This is not a transfer. This is now a release from a contingent fund. Pero sa contingent fund kasi almost anything pwede. Of course, within certain parameters. Pero basically pwede. Dahil it's supposed to be emergency fund. Eh. Yung, kaya nga contingent. Eh. Contingency. Eh, diba? So, yun ang ginamit nilang justification. Kaya ngayon, ang, na, ang nagbago naman, yung kwan. Yung, uh, yung araw. Dati kasi ginastos yan for uh, 19 days. Ngayon, kinorek mismo ni Stella Kimbo dahil according to COA, 11 days lang. So, so nagbago yung kwan ngayon. So, yung narrative, no? De, so, Roland, nagbago. before before we push uh, more on this, sorry if I could. Hmm. Ako, to be fair, from a security hmm. standpoint, I understand that you need some flexibility in terms of allocation because of course, yung Congreso last year, ang pinag-usapan, the situation could have moved dramatically over the past three days lang. Kasi security ang pinag -usapan. So I think, in theory, the argument that you cannot affix a particular amount for a contingency issue because by nature, a contingency issue cannot be forecasted, especially by the Congress last year. But mm. I think that argument. Yeah. Except the problem is my ruling na tayo sa DAP, meron tayong demarcation of ano yung mga powers of the Congress. So on a technicality mm. standpoint, meron talaga argument yung opposition. Although I would argue that yes, naintindihan ko yung argument na in theory, kung wala sa aning ruling sa DAP and all, it makes sense na wala kang fixed amount, kaya nga contingency siya. But there still mm. should be parameter kasi hindi ka naman pwede gumawa lang ng kwento-kwento. So I think this is where... Um, I, I I won't say it's a mitigating factor, but I think that's why siguro ma mayroon din tayong mga kababayan na hindi masyadong nagagalit pa because sa kanilang tingin, mm -hmm. legitimate naman na hindi ma-affix ng Congress last year pa dahil this is a security evolving, confidential, national security issue. So you cannot pin down a certain amount. No? Kasi, uh, diba? So, but, but the point you and I, Ronald, are saying, technically speaking, meron na kasing ruli. Basahin nyo lang yung nangyara after the DAP and all. So, you cannot just make the security, national security argument when there's already a ruling that is very strict about the procedures. So, the procedural argument, yun ang ginagamit ng opposition. And we work by procedure. That's what a liberal democracy works for. No? So, yun, kaya nga, hindi to, hindi gumagana yung argument ng kabila na substantively, there should be some level of flexibility because this is a contingency situation. So I'm just trying to be fair here, Ronald. No? Say, I'm just trying to distinguish within the procedural argument, which is constitutionally correct, and the substantive argument, which makes sense makes sense from a national security standpoint. But balikan natin itong issue na to, Ronald. My, my point is, I see a lot of backlash online and damning memes kay, kay Sarah. Some of them really mean memes. Um, uh, you know, I, you don't have to be her fan to to realize quite mean yung iba. Medyo tepid yung response. I don't so I don't see a lot of defense of her online. This medyo mahina yung defense sa kanya. But I'm not optimistic. I, I don't think that this will bring her down no? or will weaken her significantly. Do you think so? I mean, yun nga, if this were 10 years ago, nag-rally protest ng mga tao dyan sa, sa Luneta eh. But I don't see that. People are ranting online, but that's it. I mean... Or maybe I'm underestimating the explosive potential of this kung maulit na naman yan. Or more details come out na more questionable pa. Ako, nag-agree ako sa'yo na hindi ito yung issue na magiging basis ng kanyang unraveling. No? Na mag-unravel siya because of this issue. Pero ito kasi ay pwedeng mga by increments, pwede siyang tamaan. No? By increments. No? Ibig sabihin, baka may mga iba pang issue na sumulpot. Pano, usapin dito, hindi lang naman yung legal at saka technical eh, uh, Richard eh. Ang usapin din dito, kailangan ba ng Vice President ng 500 million, 650 million na intelligence saka confidential fund? Yung previous Vice President, si Rue eh. Wala. Yung, yung sumunod, uh, anibawa si Nolte de Castro at saka si, si Jojo Binay, sobrang liit, 6 million. No? Hindi ko alam kung saan nagamit yun. Siguro may justification. So medyo malayo itong vice president na ito in terms of uh, uh, paggamit o paghingi ng intelligence at confidential fund. Ikalawang problema, yung kanyang conduct. No? Parang pikon eh. Nung hearing sa House, nag-walk out. Diba? Yung hearing sa Senate, puro pasa sa kanyang undersecretary at saka sa kanyang chief of staff. Tapos nung uh, hindi pumayag yung isang senadora na ipasa sa kanyang undersecretary at saka chief of staff, napikon, nagalit. 
binato yung bahay, binato yung uh, yung senadora. So yung conduct niya medyo problematic, no? Problematic kung ganyan yung kanyang conduct ka. At ngayon, yung ikatlo, yung paliwanag. Yung paliwanag, dati kasi siya nagsabi, si Vice President, ay galing ito sa Office of the President, no? Binigay sa akin. Uh, actually, she threw the Office of the President under the bus. Pero ngayon, binabago na yung uh, yung paliwanag. Hindi na to transfer, this is a release. Hindi na to Office of the President, contingent fund na, no? Etc. Ang ang hindi pa rin nababago, ito ay ginamit for confidential funds, no? Kaya doon po mapasok yung sinasabi mo na napakaraming memes, napakaraming atake, napakaraming ridicule. Ha, paano mo paano mo gagastusin? No? Yung 125 million in confidential funds. Medyo absurd no? ang dati. In, absurd in 11 right? days na ito yung ibig sabihin ng confidential fund. 'Di ba? Ito yung ibig sabihin, safe houses, no? Uh, vehicles, uh, 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 informants. Yan yung ibig sabihin eh. So, what's happening? Yun ang tanong. Kaya siguro, hirap na hirap kang sumagot. No? Dahil it's beyond explanation. No? Kaya, yung sinasabi mo na hindi pa naman siya dito guguho. Probably. Pero, tatamaan siya. No? Kahit pa paano, tatamaan siya dito. At kung may iba pang issues na susulpot, related or unrelated sa issue na ito, ay pwede yung mag-escalate later on. Bano, five years pa naman eh, susunod na election for the presidency, di ba? Yeah, too five early years pa. Like punches, eh. Oo, too early. Early rounds pa lang, baka ma-knockdown pa yung, di ba? I mean, yun yung, oh, bano, yun yung problema, yun naman ang problema, Richard, eh. Kung ikaw na, ay nag-peak too early, mahirap i-sustain yun. Di ba? Kung nag-peak ka five years earlier, for a certain position like the presidency, medyo hindi ganun kadalian. At may cross Dahil kailangan mo naka lahat nakatutok sa iyo kasi ikaw yung target. Lahat ng uh, canons nakatutok sa iyo tapos kailangan mo ng maraming resources para i-sustain yung sarili mo. Kaya baka kailangan talaga ng 650 million to sustain yourself, no? Hindi ko sinasabi ah, hindi ko sinasabi na ginagamit 'yan para sa mga political ambitions, no? Uh, si Robin, I'm sure ginagamit si Robin 'yan for intelligence. Okay counterintelligence no uh, ginagamit yan for uh, monitoring no uh, pa no kaya nga sabi ko sa iyo nung simula eh possibly talaga ang ginamit yan kung ikaw ay involved sa James Bond operation no kung ikaw ay involved sa Mission Impossible and Martin no? James Bond oh. 007 yan yeah. oh, ne kahit na lang pan kahit uh, ang probinsyano operations no? Kahit ang probinsya nyo. Kiapo. Yan. Kiapo oh. operations. Yan. Tanin na si Kaya, Coco. Malayo-malayo <laughs> sa role and function of a vice president and a secretary of education. Diba? Which is a perfect segue for our next episode. Kasi the next episode, I want to question, I want to zero in uh, Ronald, no? Dito sa issue ng, kasi ito yung binaka-question sa akin, Ronald. Sa isang banda, sinasabi nila, tapos ng NPA, tapos ng talo na sila dahil ka kagalingan ni Tatay Digong. Sabay, ang laki ng confidential fund gusto dahil ang laki daw ng penetration ng NPA dun sa... I mean, a, it's absurd. <laughs> ano ba talaga? Mali ng NPA, then bakit mo kailangan ng maraming pera? Tapos bata daw ni recruit I mean, alam naman natin yung mga pinapadaling, hindi naman mga 12-year-old, 6-year-old. So, may absurd <laughs> yung dating sa akin. So, ano ba talaga? Ta- kung talo talaga ng NPA, then we don't need that much confidential fund because ato na nga sila, di ba? Tapos takot pa tayo na ma-recruit million-million na estudyante. Or maybe the story is different. So let's talk, discuss that uh, in the next episode. I think perfect yung segue natin nun. At of course, pag-usapan natin ng ano yun, October Fest. Ay, sorry, October Revolution ba yan? Yung, ano, yung mga ano ni Parlade. Yung best friend na <laughs> best friend mong column niya. Pag-usapan natin yan. At saka si... Pero Rob, sabi ni Kwan eh. Sabi B. ni... Pero sabi ni Robin Hood Padilla no tama ng mga kanya haba ng mga banat no mga banat sa mga critical sa China banat ang banat ano yung ano yung last statement niya kaya sumama na lang kayo sa ROTC nakita mo ba yung kanya <laughs> yun yung kanya concluding statement sumama na lang kayo sa ROTC no kayo mga bumabanat sa China di ba so talagang talagang nakakatawa itong nangyayari sa atin di ba <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Ay, bago gumagaling 
co-host natin, na medyo nag-gets na yung segway natin. Yun ang... <laughs> segway, segway. <laughs> Papatawa lang ako, pero actually I'm calculating everything na papunta sa topic. Perfect. Thank you very much, Secretary Liamas, for your very entertaining intervention on a fiscal issue. All right. Para sa bayan. Para sa bayan. <laughs>